Zoo, the repairman. Bye, Uncle Xavier. Goodbye. See you soon. <laughs> oh. Oh. What? Oh. oh, come on. <sighs> I think it's broken. Oh, I can't believe it. It's brand new. It's probably nothing serious. Open the bonnet and let's have a look. I haven't got time to play mechanics. I'm supposed to be at a very important meeting. Well, you could take our car and you can check his while he's gone. All right. Are you sure? Uh, yes, of course. There you go. Ah, that might be the problem. Have you fixed it? Ouch! Oh, oh, not quite. <laughs> Yay! You did it! Huh? Uh, no. Not yet, Zoo. I think we might need to call a repairman. Mum seems to think I'm better at mending cars than I really am. Uncle Xavier's going to be a bit disappointed. No, he isn't. You just need a helping hand, that's all. Really? Yeah. All right, uh, all right let's have a look. Uh, now, uh, try the engine again. Ah, there's your problem. Can you sort it out? I think so, but I'll need your help. Ah, I think that's come loose. You hold it while I tighten it up. <sighs> right, give it another go. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Well done! <laughs> I couldn't have done it without a bit of help from you. Wow! You are a brilliant repairman! Oh, it wasn't rocket science, Zoo. You just need to know how things work. I think I would like to be a repairman. Can you show me how? Of course, Sue. But I think we need to start on something a little less complicated than a car. You go and get your tools, and we'll make a start. Great! You coming, Puck? <whistles> Grandma, have you got anything that needs mending? Hmm. As a matter of fact... This saucepan's handle's a bit wonky. Maybe you could take care of it. That will be a piece of cake to a repairman like me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Repairman. Grandpa, Grandma's saucepan needs mending. Hmm. I can see that. It's missing a screw here. Oh, so what do we do? I think I've got everything we need. Uh, hmm. Ah, there. That should do the trick. Now, I'll need a bit of help here. Ready, Grandpa. Hold it very still. Right, Grandpa. I've got it. <laughs> ah, all done. Great! Grandma's going to be really pleased! Well, let's go and take it back to her. There you are, Grandma. One saucepan, as good as new. Oh, thank you, Zoo. I can't remember how many times I've asked Grandpa to fix it. <laughs> I heard that. Good. It would be nice to have someone around the house that would do the repairs that need doing when he's asked. Our very own repairman. That's me! You can count on me, Grandma. I'll fix everything. Well, you're going to need a workshop to do your repairs in. Shall we sort one out for you? Brilliant, Grandpa. You hear that, Puck? My very own workshop. Hi, Zoo. Hello, Elsie. 
What are you doing with all those tools? I'm a repairman. I'm going to use them to fix anything that's broken. Have you got anything that needs mending? Um, oh yes. Wait there, Zoo. I'll be right back. Oh, here comes your first customer, Zoo. Ah, oh, there you are, Zoo. Uh, is this the repairman's workshop? That's right, Nana. Do you have anything that needs repairing? Oh, yes. It's this knob at the top of my walking stick. It's called a pommel. <laughs> and it's gone all wobbly. Most annoying. Hmm. No problem. I can take care of that for you, madam. Oh, thank you, Zoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Repairman. <laughs> hey, Wazoo. <laughs> My favourite doll. One of her legs has come off. Could you mend her for me, please? No problem. Shouldn't take long. Great. Thanks, Sue. Elsie tells me you're a repairman. Could you take a look at my easel? It seems to have a wonky leg. Yes. That shouldn't be too hard. Thank you, Zoo. See you later. <sighs> <laughs> well, well, well. Seems you're very popular, Zoo. You've got a lot of customers. Yes. I am very busy at the moment. Yes, that's it. One more turn should do it. Yep. One doll all, uh, dolly again. Well done, Zoo. Now for Nana's walking stick. You're going to need your screwdriver for this one. If you tighten that screw there, I think the pommel might stop wobbling. Just what I was going to say. <laughs> And job done. <laughs> Very good, Zoo. It's as good as new. Well, that's what we repairmen do. You're right. And it looks like you're doing very well. I think I can probably fix things on my own now. All right. But I won't be far away, just in case you need a spot of help. I won't. A real repairman doesn't need help. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this will be easy. Look, Pock, this leg's just missing a screw. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Fixed. Oh, one leg's higher than the other. There, all done. Oh, no. Now it's too short. Uh, are you sure you don't need a hand? No, thanks, Grandpa. I can do it by myself. Um, oh, of course. If I make the other two legs shorter, then they'll all be the same height. <laughs> I'm the greatest repairman in the world. Oh, no. Oh, it's much too low now. What am I going to do, Pork? Zoo, I know you're a very good repairman, but even the best repairmen sometimes need a little help. I suppose. I mean, Dad's really good, but even he needed Grandpa's help to fix Uncle Xavier's car, didn't he, Pork? And I don't think Grandpa could have fixed it either. Not without Dad's help. Uh, Grandpa, could you help me, please? <laughs> of course. And I've got just the very thing we need. This is called a spirit level. It can tell you when you've got something nice and level. See that little bubble? When it's between those two lines, it means the surface is nice and straight. So, with a little help from me... Yes, please, Grandpa. You keep an eye on the little bubble while I adjust the easel's legs. <gasps> just a little bit higher. That way? Um, a bit lower. Uh, how about now? Yes, that's it. The bubble's right in the middle. <sighs> Fixed. Brilliant. Well done, Zoo. You're a great repairman. <laughs> but even great repairmen need to learn to ask for help when they need it.
There you go, Elsie. Thanks for fixing my favourite doll, Zoo. Here's your walking stick, Nana, with an unwobbly uh, pommel. Oh, well, I never. It's as good as new. Thank you, Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> my easel. Standing up properly again. Well done, Zoo. You really are a great repairman. I am, but all the best repairmen need a little bit of help. Thanks, Grandpa. Zoo and the football. Hello, Mrs. Solly. Hello, Zoo. Off for a game of football? Yes. We could do with a fourth player, Mrs. Zolly. Fancy a game? Oh, no! I haven't got my football boots with me. <gasps> All right, Pock. You can play too. But we still need another player. Come on. Yes, please. I love football, eh? Zack. Sorry. Save all that energy for the football pitch. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Zay. Have a good football match. Quite a kick you've got on you, Zack. Hmm? Huh? Where's the ball gone? I can't see the ball here. Hmm? Huh? I haven't lost the ball, have I? <laughs> sort of, but I found it again. <laughs> Where? Here. <laughs> That's not a football. It is now. <laughs> Whoops. Good thinking, Pog. The bin's the best place for that. Now, what do you think of that, Senior? Isn't it just gorgeous? What is it, Mummy? It's a snow globe. Look! Oh. Hmm? Ooh! It's lovely! Can I play with it, please? No time for that, Princess. I'm just about to deliver it. But you can come with me if you like. Oh, yes, please, Daddy! Mm. Me, me, me! <sighs> to you, Zack. <laughs> Your zoo. <clears throat> uh -huh. uh -oh. Handball. Penalty. <laughs> oh dear! Yes, it is. <laughs> Are you going to take the penalty, Zack? <sighs> Go on, Zack. Two goalies. <laughs> Just this once. <laughs> Miss it. <laughs> Yay! Goal! <laughs> well done, Zach. But you won't be scoring another one soon. Huh? Why not? 
You kicked the ball for miles. Oh, uh, we better go and look for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a really good delivery girl, aren't I, Daddy? You are indeed, Zinny Pops. Very good. <gasps> oh, please, Daddy, can we go and play in the park? Uh, well, we do have a delivery to make. Oh, please, Daddy. Pretty please. Oh, all right then. Yes! Come on, Daddy. I want to go really, really high. Nope, nothing here. <gasps> Have you found it, Puck? Oh, it's only a worm. Oh, Puck, we're looking for a football, not worms. in one day. <laughs> I think that's about enough, Zinnia. Oh, no, Daddy, don't stop, please. Oh, yes, my sugar pea. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Zack. <sighs> Come on, Zinnia. It's time we made that delivery. Um, all right, Daddy. <gasps> it's gone. What has? The snow globe. Oh, no. We can start playing again. Oh. That's not a ball. It's, um, it's, um, well, it's definitely not a football anyway. I think it might have something to do with Aunt Zelda and Uncle Xavier. They don't play football, do they? Zach, it's not a football. Oh. Oh, no. The bag belongs to their shop, see? So maybe we'd <gasps> better take it back to them. What about the football? We can look for that later. That's right, a replacement snow globe. You should have been more careful. But Zinnia wanted to play in the park. Uh, yes, as quickly as you can, please. We don't want to disappoint our customer, do we? <laughs> How could you have lost it? It's only a short distance to... Oh! Hi, Zinnia. Hello, Sue. Hi, Zach. Aunt Zelda, have you lost the snow globe? Oh, hold the line, please. You found it. Oh, thank you. Look, Zinnia. <coughs> yes, we found it when we were looking for our ball. We were playing football and it was a penalty and I took it and I kicked the ball really hard and then... and then... We lost it. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that's all right. You can cancel the order. Boys, it sounds as if you need a new ball. Yes! <laughs> so... Let's go and get you one. The best money can buy. Uh, just a minute. Who's going to deliver this? Uh, can we play on the seesaw on the way? Thanks, Uncle Xavier. It's even better than my old one. You're very welcome. <laughs> Would 
you like to play? Uh, <laughs> well, why not? Have you found another worm pock? It's not a worm zoo. It's your football. Clever pock. Zach, would you like to keep my old football? Wow. Brilliant. Thank you. Catch it, Zach. <laughs> uh, yours, Xavier. <laughs> Nice head up. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't know you were a footballer, Xavier. <sighs> Nor did I. <laughs> Zoo and the mystery box. present. No, it's a mystery box. Wow, a mystery box. What's a mystery box? It's a surprise. So, what's in it? Oh, tell us, Elsie, please. No, it's a surprise. Great, I love surprises. So, surprise us. What is it? You have to guess. Really? Yes. You can have ten guesses, and we're not going to open it until you've used them all up, OK? Well, all right. Let's see. Um, is it a toy? Nope, not a toy. I know, it's a slime monster from Planet Quag. Hurrah! Hurrah! <laughs> Quag! <laughs> Hurrah! <laughs> Quag! <laughs> Hurrah! Hey, careful! You're scaring Pock. <gasps> Whoops. Sorry, Pock. So is it, uh, Elsie? A... Time to go. Coming, Mum. I've got to go. Ready for another race? OK, and this time I'm going to beat you. Huh? What is it, Pock? Hang on, Elsie forgot her mystery box. Oh, yeah. We better keep an eye on it. Hmm. I think we could listen. Yeah. I think I can hear something. Are you sure? Yeah. <gasps> what can you see? I see, um... <gasps> Nothing. The holes are too small. Let me have a look. <clears throat> no, Elsie said it wasn't to be opened until we had ten guesses. <gasps> uh -oh. Oh, look what we've done. We've torn it. Mm, I'm sorry. Oh, we have to mend it before she gets back. Maybe we could glue it back together. Then Elsie won't notice it got broken. I'm not sure. She might see the join. Mm. Grandpa! He'll know what to do. Yes! Hello there. Oh, my, that's a nice-looking box. 
Is it yours, Zack? No, it's Elsie's. We were looking after it for her and it sort of got a bit torn. We didn't open it. We were supposed to be guessing what was in it. Can you mend it before Elsie gets back? Hmm. Please, Grandpa. Please. Let's have a look. Hmm. Yes, it's torn, but it's nothing serious. <laughs> Still, I think you'd better own up to Elsie. If you tell her the truth, I'm sure she'll forgive you. <laughs> In the meantime, I think I might have something a little bit special to mend it with. Invisible tape. Invisible tape? Now, let's see, where did I put it? Hmm. Oh, I can't find anything. No, me. Grandpa, if it's invisible, how are we going to see it? <laughs> I, um. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ta-da! This might help us. Wow! Wow! A magician's wand! I'll need two assistants. I'm brilliant at assisting. Me too. Wonderful. Now to find that invisible tape. Woo! <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the surprise of the century. Grandpa the Magician and his two assistants bring you the incredible invisible tape trick. Zack, could you hold the mystery box for me, please? Now, Zoo, if you would kindly wave this magic wand. Abracadabra! Well done, Zoo. And here is... Ta-da! The tape! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, and thank you! So, now we can get on with fixing the box. <laughs> there we are. Elsie's mystery box is as good as new. Oh, thanks, Grandpa. That's what I call magic. Oh, not quite magic. Just a bit of invisible tape. It's made that tear disappear. Two. So... There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Grandma's made some biscuits. Would you like some? Yes, yes please. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better get a move on before the biscuits disappear, too. Get it. Hello, Elsie. Would you like a biscuit? Oh, yes, please. Zoo, did I leave my mystery box in your garden? Yes. Here it is. <laughs> Um, Elsie, I've got something to tell you. You didn't open it. No, we knew we still had eight guesses to go, but I heard something inside the box. And, um, we tried to peek inside, but we didn't see anything honest. But, uh, the thing is, it got a tiny bit torn. <laughs> but we mended it, 
Zeus' grandpa helped us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that doesn't matter. As long as you didn't open it, it'll still be a surprise. So, can we carry on guessing? No, I can't wait to show you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Look! Wow! Beautiful! It's, it's shining like the stars. It's so magical. They're fireflies. I didn't want to show them to you until now because they only shine like this at night. Wow! <laughs> Lovely. You said it would be a surprise. And it is! The best surprise ever! Zoo's Sledge. I think you ought to get dressed before you go out and play in it. <laughs> yes, it's snowing! And you're not going out until you've had some breakfast. It's snowing! That's what I said! Oh, 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 I love the snow. I remember when I was your age how I used to build snow zebras with my friends and we'd go sledging down the hill in the park and then we'd... then we'd... Hmm? I wish we had a sledge, Grandpa. Well, why don't we build one? Brilliant! Don't we take it to the park and see what this baby can really do? Let's take Elsie too. And me. I've not been sledging for ages. <laughs> Look at my sledge, Dad. Oh, nice work. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, are you all right? I'm fine. Just got a bit carried away. I'll go and have a sit down with Grandpa and leave the sledging to the experts. <laughs> <laughs> Your 
your turn, Elsie. Thanks, Sue. <laughs> Hi, Elsie! Look at my new sledge! It's got bells and everything! So, if you wouldn't mind awfully... Of course not. We'll keep an eye on Zinnia. Thanks so much. Only I do have an important meeting to attend, but Zinnia did so much want to try out her new sleigh. Bye, Zinnia. Be good. It's a brilliant sledge, Sue. It goes really, really fast. It won't go as fast as mine. <gasps> Let's see. Last one down the hill was a squash tomato. <laughs> All right, Mr. Squash Tomato. On your marks, get set. <whistles> Go. Come on, rotten sledge. Come on, Zoo. Well done, Zinnia. Yes. I am not a squash tomato. <laughs> no, of course you aren't. My sledge wasn't warmed up. Let's have another go. Best of three. It's Elsie's turn next, so you'll have to race her. I'll win this time. I would have won, but the snow was too cold, and it wasn't as slippy as your bit, and I wasn't ready. Sledge against Thals. Ha! Oh, good! Ready, steady, go! Whee! Wait! I'm not <laughs> ready! On your marks, get set, go! Stop! My bell! Zinnia, <gasps> <gasps> what is it? My bell! It's... it's gone! It was my favourite bell too! Don't worry, Zinnia, we'll find it. In all this snow, it could be anywhere. faster without it. I don't want to go on my sledge without the bell. It just doesn't look the same without it and it doesn't jingle properly. Don't worry, Zinnia. I'm sure we'll find it. <gasps> Hawk, I'm trying to think. Where did you last see it? On my sledge. Well, I'm really good at looking for things. I'm sure we'll find it. Come on. My bell. Oh, what is it? Oh, oh, there's too much snow. Hello there. Had enough sledging for one day, have you? No, Grandpa. We're looking for Zinnia's bell. She lost it off her sledge. It was my best one. My sledge doesn't look right without it. 
Well, don't worry, Zinnia. We'll help find it. I'm sure it'll turn up. Oh. <gasps> Sorry, it's just an old bottle top. Zinnia. Now we found the bell. Do you want another race? Not until my sledge is fixed. Oh, I'll soon have that mended. <laughs> and in the meantime, why don't we all go back home, have something to eat and get warm? This snow might be beautiful to look at, but <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> It won't take long to mend, will it, Grandpa? <laughs> Not if Grandpa's mending it. He's the best mender in the world. And Pox, the best finder. <laughs> 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 And now the sea scale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. We all make a few mistakes when we're learning. Have another go. Mm -hmm. That was very good, Sue. <laughs> now, let's have a look at a new piece of music. Yay! as well as you do. Of course you will. <laughs> what are those notes? A, E, D, B. There you go. Now you just need to play them. Go on. Lovely. Now, I think that's enough for one day. Already? Oh, we'll have another lesson tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. I love playing the piano. It's my favourite instrument. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, dear. It's always been my favourite instrument, too. Mm. Oh. See you later, Nana. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that, Grandpa? <laughs> ah, Zoo, great timing. Come and have a look at this. Ooh. Grandpa, is that you? That's me, when I was about your age. <laughs> it looks like me. Yes, we do look alike. Uh, this was taken at one of our shows. You played in a band? Oh, yes. And your grandpa was an excellent trumpeter. Oh, <laughs> we did have fun. 
Have you still got your trumpet? I think so. It'll probably be somewhere in the garage. Grandpa, can we go look for it? <laughs> uh, I know it's around here somewhere. No, where can it have got to? Uh, ah, where did I put that trumpet? Uh, 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 oh, yeah, it's not here. Huh? My basketball is. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're much better at finding things than I am. Uh, oh, it's heavy. Uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> My trumpet. Wow. Can you play a tune for me, Grandpa? Oh, I hope I can remember how. Of course you can. <laughs> Why are you pulling that funny face? <laughs> I'm filling up my cheeks with air. Trumpet playing takes a bit of puff. <laughs> hey, that's brilliant, Grandpa. Can I have a go? <laughs> of course. But it isn't that easy to begin with. Don't worry, I saw how you did it. <gasps> oh, but I did exactly what you did. Ah, yes, but to play the trumpet, you have to learn how to blow into it properly. I thought I was. Almost, but not quite. Come with me. Your turn, Zoo. <laughs> oh, that was too easy. We need a heavier ball. Um, how about my basketball? Good idea. Trumpet, here I come. <gasps> That's it. Now try blowing a little harder. Done, Zoo. <laughs> so now, let's try it with the trumpet. Dro drop your shoulders. Just relax and blow very hard into it. <gasps> yeah, I did it! Oh, well done, Zoo. I think you've got the hang of it. I love the trumpet. It's my favourite instrument. Oh, I'm very happy to hear that. And now, I'm going to teach you a tune. Listen carefully. Ooh. Huh? huh? Can I join you? I didn't know you had a guitar, Dad. Well, I don't play very often these days. Can I have a go? Of course. <laughs> I'd better warn everyone we have a rocker in the family. Let me show you. Hold the strings like this and strum. I've done it! Well done. You're a very good guitarist. I love the guitar! 
It's my favourite instrument. Does our little rocker need some accompaniment? <laughs> hey, what's that, Mum? It's a tambourine, Bizu. That makes a brilliant noise. I love the tambourine. <laughs> it's my favourite instrument. Really? But I thought it was the guitar. And I thought it was the piano. And I thought it was the trumpet. Yes, but, um, I don't know which I like best now. I really like the trumpet, Grandpa. And the guitar. <laughs> I love the tambourine, too. <laughs> and I love playing the piano. <laughs> Actually, I think I like them all. Uh... I know. I'm going to play them all at once. So then I don't have to choose. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my own band. The Zoo One Man Band. What about This is such a great idea. I'm sorry, Mum. I can't hear you. The zoo one man band's practicing. Oh. Let's not remind Zoo about his drum. That might end up being his favorite instrument as well. What did you say, Mum? Uh, nothing, Bizu. Nothing at all. Okay, Mum. What ba 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 do beep bum? <laughs> Zoo and the Abominable Snowman. What is it, Pock? <gasps> Look, Grandpa, it stopped snowing. Can I go outside and play now? Of course, Zoo. Uh, but first, you're going to have to wrap up warm. <laughs> You're right. Oh, it looks so good you could almost eat it. Look, Grandpa, your footprints look really big compared to mine. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Impossible to get us two confused. What about those? Who do you think they belong to? Mm, oh, I don't know. They're really tiny. Should we follow them? Oh, good idea. Uh... Hmm. The footprints stop right here. What? <laughs> Pock, those were your footprints. <laughs> it looks like Pock loves the snow as much as you do. Can we look for some more footprints to follow? All right. But real trackers have very special equipment. Let's go and get what we need. Now, where's my tape measure gone? I'm sure I put it away around here. <laughs> well done, Pock. You found the tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got everything. Tape measure, binoculars, notebook, pencil. What's this book for? This is an animal encyclopedia. It'll help us recognize the animal tracks. That's a great idea, Grandpa. <laughs> Who 
<laughs> wow! Is this a free-legged animal? Hmm, this is a strange discovery. Let's start by measuring them. Oh, they're about the same size as my own prints. Except that there's an extra one. <laughs> well spotted, Zoo. I'm going to look it up in the animal encyclopedia. Well, the third print is very, very small. Hmm. I can't find a three-legged animal. Hello, you two. Having fun in the snow? Oh, yes, Nana. Of course. We should have realised. It wasn't a third leg. It was Nana's walking stick. <laughs> we wouldn't have found her in the encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> huh, it looks like Pox found something. They're the same size as my prints. But we haven't been here. Let's see where they go. Come on, Grandpa. Who could these prints belong to? I know! Elsie! She's the only one who goes through here! Mm, you're probably right. I'm going to check. OK, Zoo. Hi, Elsie! Hello, Zoo. I've been looking for you everywhere. Look at my snowman! <laughs> wow! It looks great! What a beautiful snowman! Have you made it all by yourself? Mum helped me a little. What are you up to? Grandpa and I are being trackers. What's a tracker? We follow footprints left in the snow to find out who they belong to. That's how we found you. That sounds like fun. Can I be a tracker too? Of course you can. But we haven't got any prints to follow. Why don't we go into the street? I'm sure we'll find some there. <laughs> Look at those! <laughs> They're a funny shape. What animal could have such big feet? Well, I have no idea at all. Let's measure them. Wow! They're two times as big as Grandpa's. It must belong to a giant. Even bear's prints aren't as big as those. Shall we follow the trail to find out who they belong to? It's gone that way. Maybe Mrs. Dolly's seen it. Hello, Mrs. Dolly. Hello, children. We're tracking these footprints. Have you seen who they belong to? Um, yes. Only a few minutes ago. <laughs> really? <gasps> what did it look like? The thing is, I couldn't see him very well through the fog. Was he big? Yes, with very large feet. And he walked in a funny way. Hmm. Uh, do you remember anything else? He looked strong. And he was covered in long white hair. Oh. That's it. Finished. I know what that is. I saw it on TV. It's the abominable snowman. The abominable snowman? We have to find him. Let's get back to work before the trail goes cold. Thank you, Mrs. Ollie. See you soon. Bye. <gasps> oh, we've lost the trail. The wind has blown snow over the prince. Oh, no. Hmm. How are we going to find the abominable snowman now? Let's carry on that way. With a bit of luck, we'll pick up his trail again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Elsie. We found the trail again. 
The abominable snowman has been here. It looks as if he's gone into the shop. Hello. 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 What are you doing out in the cold? We're looking for the abominable snowman. Have you seen him? Abominable snowman? He looks like this. <laughs> I would remember it if I'd seen such a creature. Oh, but we were sure he came into the shop. Yes, his footprints are right outside. Maybe he walked past the shop, but he's not come in here. Let's go back outside. He may still be out there. Did you hear that? Could it be the abominable snowman? Can I have the binoculars, please, Grandpa? Over there! He's, he's over there! Quick! We've got to catch up with him! I'm sure the abominable snowman's been here. And lots of times, too. Oh, no! The abominable snowman's ruined Mr Zoe's shop. Just fallen over again. Hello, Mr. Zoe. Hello. Walking with snowshoes is harder than it looks. <coughs> wow, they look just like the footprints we've been tracking. <laughs> I've not even had time to tidy up my shop yet. I spent the whole morning doing deliveries on foot. Really? You do deliveries now? Yes. With all the snow, people find it hard to come and do their shopping. By the way, did Nana get her milk? Oh, uh, she did, thank you. So you were the abominable snowman. Ha! You got me. And you know what abominable snowmen eat? Um, uh, no. Frozen yoghurt and strawberry sorbet. Yummy! Yay! Hmm, I'm as hungry as an abominable snowman. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>